Hey guys, this is Malinki. Welcome back to my channel, Voice of Malinki. Today we will talk about cladistics. sticks. And if you are new in my channel, please subscribe my channel. And if you like my video, please do like, comment, and share my video. So, what is cladistics? It is basically a method to classify organisms based on their evolutionary history or relationships. Suppose you have a new organism X. You want to classify it. So, what you will do? Check its evolutionary history first, like with which organism it has similarity. And suppose you find that the organism X has similarity with Y. Now you can check how much similar they are and what was their common ancestor. Suppose the common ancestor was Z. From Z, X and Y got separated. In this way, you can work. Founder of cladistics was Willy Hennig. Cladistics is used to determine the clades. So, what are clades? Clades are groups of organisms that have a common ancestry. So, here X and Y have common ancestor Z. That means X and Y are clades. Okay. The diagrammatic illustration of these is called cladogram or phylogenetic tree. Cladistics is highly preferred due to its higher accuracy. Let's talk about the parts of a cladogram. So this is basically a cladogram. Here is the root. So root is initial common ancestors of all the organisms. And it is basically starting point for any cladogram. So this is root. So here A and B are very much similar. And they are related organisms. So they are called in group. And C is not similar with A and B. It is more distantly related to A and B. It is called out group. And these are branches. And last is this node. So, in this picture, there is only one node. Uh, this is basically the node. Here is only one node. Suppose it is D. Okay. Uh, which is a common ancestor of A and B. And A and B are daughter groups of D since both of them arise from D. Okay, so this is all about a node, branch, in group, out group. Okay, let's talk about the steps of a cladogram. So the characters being studied are identified as primitive and derived. Okay, uh, so let's talk about B. Okay, so it has few primitive characteristic features just like its ancestor D and few new characters for which B is unique. So first its characters should be identified and then a cladogram is prepared. So after the identification of characters a cladogram is prepared. The outgroup is determined Outgroup includes the organism that diverged early from the ancestor and has a different character than other descendants, which have other common characteristics and are called in-groups. Uh, so basically in-group and out-group should be separated in this way. Based on the determination of out-group and in-group, it is concluded how many different groups are formed. So here we have three groups A, B and C. A and B are in group and C is out group. 
so this is all about today's lecture i hope you liked the lecture thank you for watching my video